u slash electrical ant 6000 630 as reddit why don't you talk to that family member anymore welcome to auto gen labs daily reddit content by robots for the internet when at my sister's funeral they told me i had no reason to cry because i wasn't really family because i was adopted i was adopted within my own family we were still biologically related when the ex has been got released from jail for spousal abuse and restraining order violations, she gave him my new home address. Asterisk, get it, asterisk, this has got far more response than expected. If it hits home to you, there's a great sub at our slash a strange adult kids. Tried to steal my grandmother's money after she died. They expect me to respect their boundaries, but don't respect mine. They chose a beep over me, and now that all his crimes have come to light, they are so sorry. No thanks. Her husband pointed a loaded gun at my husband's head. My husband didn't need parents anyway. My sister. She's been a sporadically recovering drug addict for like 15 years. The last straw was when she stole our checkbook out of my wife's purse. At our father's wake. I support him a 46 year old son all his adult life. Through raising two of his children. I was spending too much money and I was going brick myself. When he wanted to move in with his girlfriend, I said no more and that he had to stand up for themselves. Of course, I was a freaking beep and haven't seen or heard from him for over a year. He hasn't even checked on his kids, not birthdays or Christmas. Because he was hitting on the nurse in the room where my mother was being compassionately extubated. Oh yeah, he's my dad. Uncle punched me in the neck for no reason while beep. Cut his beep off that same night, on Christmas at that my wife's mum. Among other things, she attempted to burn down my house, whilst her daughter and grandson were inside. She's a piece of beep who's going to die bitter and alone, and that's just fine by all of her kids. He's a beep and a crackhead. Tried to have a semi-normal relationship with him where I would visit him infrequently and message him like once a month. Then one day while visiting him, I found pedophilic fanfiction on his computer, who spent my whole life trying to convince me the charges were bogus law. He's my dad BTW. There are many reasons beyond this, but the final straw was from the last time I saw my step-grandfather. Went to empty the dishwasher for him, and he was at the sink, so I waited for him to move so I could wash my hands. And he looked at me and, well, why don't you beep empty it then? And I simply said, I'm just waiting for you to move so I can wash my hands, and his response was, stop being a smart ass. I told him that's pretty rude considering and trying to help you. And he decided that attempting to fight me over that was appropriate. This guy is old and broken, he can barely walk, breathe or do anything for himself, the very definition of a decrepit old has been. And yet he still got all up in my face with his fists raised and his eyes filled with hate. I said, really dude, do you actually think you could do anything? I could blow on you and you would fall over. I would never want to fight someone in that condition, but I made it clear I would defend myself if he attacked me. He kept on trying to come at me. Eventually I got fed up with his beep, opened my arms wide and said go ahead I dare you. I'll even give you the first shot but I guarantee you'll get the last one. And he finally backed and when he realized he couldn't intimidate me like he could when I was a kid. She's a grandiose narcissist who projects all of her negative qualities on any and everyone. When I tried to have a talk about all the abuse I endured as a child I was swiftly told that everything was my fault. She's attempted to pit my brother and I against each other for most of our lives. The memory that sticks with me was when I was 14, she said she'd make sure I never get to see my brother when we were grown up. My husband died and I asked my entire family if they could help me out by watching my youngest while I worked a night shift. Every single one of them said no. I had to call CPS on his neglectful parenting. He cut me off. My brother turned me in for social security fraud. Needless to say, I'm not committing any fraud. Had I been convicted, I would have a $250,000 fine and would have gone to jail for five years. He can beat my beep. He is dead to me. Accused me of stealing all our dad's money when he died. There was a will and we all got the same amount. I pointed this out and she blocked me. Because that family member stole my money and blamed it on me, lol. My grandma because every time I see her it's super dark and gruesome. Always talking about how she's gonna die and how the politics beep and how I'm a terrible sister and how I'll never have a husband if I don't gain some weight. How my mom is bossy, how my brother is this and that, I can't stand it. I'm recovering from extreme depression, I can't have negativity on my mind every day when I talk to you. She just has the worst most sandpapery toilet paper in her house, it just makes my beep hurt so much. 
Last time I saw my dad in person was 1998. He never wanted kids and when my little sister was born, forced my mother to give her up for adoption. My mother went into a spiral of depression after that and took her own life when I was still a teen. I found her body had to deal with the cops and all that and when my dad came home days later, he threw me out. You don't have your mother to protect you anymore, he said. I had to graduate high school homeless, crashing on friends' couches and guest rooms. My college dreams were crushed because I had to get a job to support myself, which was hard until I became a manager of a bookstore at age 18. That was 1987. Since then, I saw him only a handful of times. I got married, had a child. My wife, in her vain attempt to have some kind of family, tried inviting my dad and his new wife to be part of Iris since they only lived 20 minutes away. But he only made it over a handful of times. My son saw his relatives' distant cousins in another country more than he saw his own grandfather. My father is very rich, and I was very poor, but my dad never offered to help. Because of this, we struggled for over a decade before we got out of poverty. He never spoke to us unless my wife made contact. Last time I saw my dad, he invited me out for my birthday in 1998. But it turns out he just wanted professional advice from my wife. She was an insurance adjuster. She was pretty insulted when she figured this out, and after that, she gave up on trying to have any kind of relationship with him. In 2000, they moved away, and said they had no fixed address, and planned to travel the world. I suspect that was a ruse, because I have since discovered they bought a multi-million dollar beachfront condo the same year. While my dad has been pretty good at hiding his address, his wife has not. She's one of those socialite wannabes and while she's not really a bad person, she's not exactly complicated by the realities of a common man, if that makes sense. Imagine being born rich, under your father's shadow, and never really having to have an actual job. Then, because of my work background check needs, I had to find out about their life and the money they made, because of the whole possible foreign money influence thing. I know that they're worth several million, have a lot of real estate, classic cars, and a 57 pleasure yacht with us stuff. The US government considers them safe, so I guess that's good. In 2014, my wife of 25 years died, and that was the last time I spoke to them. I figured the mother to your only grandchild has died was a good enough reason to speak to them, and I sent them a certified letter. I got back a generic email from the wife, which can be summed up as, so sorry, it happens, but don't worry, you'll find someone else, your father did. Which may come off as callous, but I think that's really how she sees things, and thought she was being mature and professional. No offers to help her here is my number, call me if you need anything, or anything like that. Just a generic, our condolences for a troubled time, one might get from a vendor or something. She even signed it with her full name and professional credentials. No idea if my dad even knows or Yes. And that's ultimately it, he doesn't hate me. Hate is framed as the opposite of love, but really, they come from the same root. He is actually the opposite of love and difference. He literally does not think of me or care, which is how he was about most people in his life. He sees people like appliances, you use them when you need them, otherwise you don't think about them much. I mean, do you think about your toaster until you need toast? He's like that about people. And when the toaster has problems, throw it out and get a new one. Once in a while, I have to look them up because I have to re-up clearance or something. I last know my dad was alive and present for a voting redistricting video call for his district about a year ago. I suspect when he dies, I will not be informed but will find out months or years after the fact. My aunt bought Christmas present for my son, not my stepson. I asked politely if we could buy a present for him and say it was from her, she refused. I returned the present unopened. After that, I've barely spoken to her for 20 plus years. Too deep. You can join my therapist and I on a video call on Tuesday at 3 p.m. He died of an OD. Don't say sorry. Nobody was said about it. Uncle divorced wife. My cousin is late 20s, adult now and by their parents' old house. Uncle decides to have his midlife crisis. Comes back, rents a room in house, traveling marathons. Uncle finds new GF. They proceed to beat loudly constantly. Cousins say knock at off or leave. Hearing his dad beep is weird. Uncle leaves but takes more items from the house than he should have including shingles for the plan garage refresh. This is considered a beep move. He did it without telling them he would. They just go home one day with random beep missing. 
Then uncle goes radio silent and won't speak to either of his kids, not the cousin who owns the house or even his older kid who wasn't even involved in this mess. So beat that guy. Oh and my racist grandpa, but he's dead now. It was after a Christmas party. My mother manages a small hotel with rooms and two chalets. So she booked rooms for the family to sleep over after the party. One of my cousins took a chalet with her BF. It was only for one night, regular customers were coming the next day. All the family leave early the next day and so did my cousin. Customers who booked the chalet arrived early, so my mother showed them the chalet assuming that the chalet will be clean enough and that the customers could leave their luggage there till the bed was made. There was beep on the wall. My cousin and their BF literally beep on the wall. My mother was shocked and made excuses to the customers. She called the dad of my cousin and we never saw her again. We know that her BF is now dead. He died of OD. Thanks for watching. This has been an Autogen Labs production. That means that this video was created by a robot out of content on Reddit. We show all account names and list them in the description to credit the Redditor community that makes our work possible. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We post new videos every day. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. Our human department for public relations reads all of them or won't be let out of their cages again. Goodbye.